and welcome back to another Hearthstone deck spotlight. I've got something really cool today. Uh, I was actually uh, doing some uh, some streaming, and a uh, fan in the chat had a deck that they wanted me to take a look at, and it's a really sweet variation on uh, on Odd Hunter, which is actually something that I haven't played. In fact, that's kind of what what got the discussion going. Is it? Uh, I uh, hadn't touched any variation of Odd or even Hunter. So let's take a look at what uh, most of the Odd Hunters out there are trying to do. It's a bit of a, uh, a cheaper, more budget deck. Uh, with, so focusing around Baku the Moon Eater to upgrade our hero power, which makes our, uh, our bow do three damage, which is quite a lot. Uh, so a lot of what these decks are trying to do is be extremely aggressive on the board. You know, a lot of these lists play almost half the deck as one drops, which uh, means you're going to be deploying a lot of things onto the board very quickly, hopefully going to be taking control of the board with cards like Candle Shot and uh, many lists play Arcane Shot as well, in combination with a lot of your uh, your Argent Squires, Acris Veterans, Fireflies, South Sea Deckhands, all these fantastic one drops. We're going to control the board, hopefully deal a bunch of damage to our opponent, and then once our we run out of steam, we're going to try and kill them with kill commands, uh, weapon hits with eagle horn bow, and obviously our upgraded hero power in combination with things like black walled pixie. So the deck really comes in, in two pieces. It's really, there's the board control and then there's the reach. Uh, and there's a little bit of overlap with the weapons in the middle. So that's what uh, a lot of these decks are trying to do. They're very, uh, possibly the most linear, uh, aggressive strategy around at the time. Uh, but the disc that, uh, the, the, disc, the deck that, uh, Chobo Muffin sent me, uh, is a little bit different, uh, rather than, uh, get that really like a, a huge early game. Instead, there's a lot more three drops and five drops in here. Most importantly, the clockwork automaton. So this is going to double the damage of our hero power, which turns it from three damage into six, just fireball your opponent's face. Uh, and I think that's really cool. It's a great late game option. Uh, lean a bit more on the reach uh, rather than the board control, uh, as well as having uh, the black walled pixie in here as well. So we're going to play some games with this. The things that we want to uh, look out for is how well we do compete on board. Uh, compared to a list that has, you know, almost twice the amount of one drops. Uh, how does that affect uh, our card choices? You know, if we, we can't compete on board, cards like Fungal Mancer are, are quite bad. Uh, we also, at the three drop, don't have any things like Eagle Horn Bow. We also don't have any taunts in here other than Misha off of Animal Companion. So we want to look and see if we can change that, uh, because it will make our Vicious Fledgling a lot better like even just playing some tar creepers or something like that uh, and disrupting our opponent a little bit means our fledglings might be able to run away with the game uh, and overall just seeing if this kind of strategy is uh, is viable uh, but it sure looks fun and I'm looking forward to fireballing our opponents in the face so uh, let's get into okay Your soul shall be BNC Warlock let the hunt begin so Pretty tempted to keep this Hunter's Mark, as uh, most of the Warlocks we've been facing have been uh, even lock. This card does uh, crush the Mountain Giant on turn. None will survive. Uh, on turn three. Oh my god. Job's done. It's just not happening today. It's not happening. Do we just hero power them this turn? I wonder. I think we do. Save scale for Hunter Ma Hunter's Mark turn. Yeah, I think that's right. I think we're we're happy to just chill out for a bit. Both Hunter's Mark. It's 
okay. It's okay. This game will go really long. We'll play Baku. We'll get him with it. Baku will just devour them. Look at this hungry, hungry girl. Oh my gosh, I did not realize how big this thing was. It's like coiled around an entire town. So I'm pretty pretty happy to just get these out there. Bubblies and yummies. Ooh. Mushroom power. Alright, so if we bump here, we still keep this after a hellfire. If we just trade, then we get to keep Leok after the Hellfire. This is better if they don't have Hellfire. Job done. Feels like you have to hellfire this. Hmm, spellstone? Spellstone for five. Like, if they didn't spell stone before, if they didn't hellfire before, do they still have it? Mm, but they've drawn two more cards since. Oh, we get defiled on this board anyway, so we'll, we'll just leave it like this. Whereas I, I don't think we've opened our board up to being defiled before. So maybe there was an argument against playing the scale hide and instead we should have traded our fungal mancer for the kobold. Unleash me. Well that's okay. Four. That's a seven for nine. And the rest. Yo, Leo, actually doing a thing. Nice. Alright. You with the hunter mirror. Let the hunt begin. Bring it on. Ooh, yuck. I think we're gonna get dunked in this one. Your draw didn't totally suck that time either. I don't like draws where you just get all one drops because you're not really pressing the one drop aggro None plan that much. Survive. It's true. I mean, our draw did include Baku, so factored that in. The light protects me. Yeah, if you were gonna play more anti aggro, um, if you wanted to be more anti aggro in the one drop slot, maybe consider Candle Shot. Shark go. Not having to deal with uh, turn two wandering monsters. Pretty big deal. Ooh. Right on time, Al.
Just keep our keep our pressure going. We've got our automaton. See if they have coin racks are to goof us up. His huge hand. <laughs> wow, that's uh, that is something. I think we want to get a hero power off here. Actually, they seem to be struggling to deal with this, so maybe we want to go, like, Unleash the Hounds, Kill Command? Mm. Like, that sounds kind of a bit, uh, a bit loose, but, like, look at what they, look at what they're doing just to try and, uh... Uh, compete with this bear shark. See what we get. Where's my okay. So we we win. Oh, we get to kill them with the with the automaton. <sighs> Got him. Nice one. Nice. Nice. Alright, we're here against the Paladin. I just had a bit of a heart attack because I thought that uh, that last game didn't get recorded. No the, uh, the sweet one where we got to automaton them out. Alright, odd mirror. No shark keep. No, I think, especially against a. Uh, uh, odd pally. We gotta try and uh, do our best on board. Put our best foot forward. Reporting for duty. Oh, we really only want M Misha, really. So I think we'll save our coin. Hey! Didn't know we were playing three vicious fledglings in this deck. Oh yeah, Pixie, Pixie would have been an interesting option. Uh, my concern is uh, that if they have uh, unidentified more. It's really bad for us. Reporting for duty. I think this is really bad for us as well. Um, to my side. Okay. That's good. So we just want to get this up there. Try and kill as many silver hand recruits as we can before turn five. Huffle would have been not great. Because we would kill one silver hand recruit and then they could just trade the firefly for it. Get in there and fight, maggot! Oh my. I really don't want them to hear a power. Damn it. Reporting for duty. Corridor Creeper. Oof. Hmm. Not really a lot we 
can uh, do about this. Like we can try and minimize uh, minimize our opponent's board, but th this is the matchup where candle shot is just is the uh, the best card in the deck. I think it's just so hard to it's so hard to mitigate the advantage that they get off of um off of their hero power with with the tools that we have access to. You know, I it pretty consistently I imagine in this kind of matchup we're gonna get to turn four, five, six. We're gonna look at their board, which is bigger than ours. We're gonna look at their hand, which is bigger than ours, and look at the cards in their hand, which are like very uh Kind of board presence orientated you know like we get to play the autom automaton because and it might have a chance to stay around another turn if we have board presence otherwise it's really just five mana for three damage which is pretty bad right uh so yeah i don't think we're don't think we're getting this one unfortunately but we'll jump back into the uh to the deck. We'll see if we can make some uh, some changes to it. So, what cards weren't weren't great? I think the f the fungals were okay. Maybe we do want to keep the fungals and cut the scale banes. Hmm, because the scale banes also weren't weren't really doing too much. So maybe we like cut the scale bands. Um, kill commands fine. Bear shark was actually doing quite a lot of work, but I feel like it's kind of one of the weaker three drops that we have. Baku seems bad. Yeah, yeah. Cut Baku. Why are we playing this nine drop in this uh, <laughs> in this odd deck? Uh, so maybe we cut like bear shark. Um, and then we get a candle, get a candle shot in here. Maybe get a little creeperino in here. Something like that. Uh, that's, that's at least where I think I'd start. And then maybe you can work out, like, do we actually only want one Iron Beak Owl? Do we want to bump up the number of Unleash the Hounds? Do we only want one Black Walled Pixie? You know, like, admittedly, a lot of those games, we, uh, we didn't see Blackwall Pixie much, but, uh, it could be a thing where we just cut down to one instead, then we can maybe fit, uh, fit some different one drops in here. Maybe we go the second jeweled macaw, maybe we cut the jeweled macaws totally, uh, and instead play like... Two trackings. You know, we can use trackings to find the autom automatons or, uh, you know, just some more high impact cards. Alternatively, we just play like two arcane shots. So we have one, two, three, three proactive one drops. So six, which is, I think, a really solid number. Uh, and then we've got hedges like candle shot and arcane shot as a way to, uh, to keep us on board. Um, so maybe something like that. Uh, anyway, uh, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, or on Hearthpone, let me know what you think. Let me know if, uh, if you like this kind of automaton build of, uh, of Odd Hunter. Let me know what changes you'd make if you think that, uh, the deck's worthwhile or, you know, there's some tinkering that could be done. Uh, or if you just prefer the, uh, the flat out regular Odd Hunter version with its million billion one drops. Uh, but yeah, I don't recommend uh, giving the deck a try. It was heaps of fun blowing someone's head off with a uh, 
with a six power hero power is uh whew, six damage is a lot uh so i really like that but yeah let me know what you think and uh until next time have a good one